He's the CEO of one of the most valuable companies in the world, but he's a bit more private than his fellow tech entrepreneurs. We're talking about Sundar Pichai, the CEO of Google and Alphabet. Did you know Pichai is a cricket fan? Or that he was almost hired by Microsoft? And do you know what sets him apart from most other tech titans? I don't ever give up. And, and I was human. I am human. You're going to see the future. Internet from Internet. Tech Titans. Pichai Sundararayan, better known as Sundar Pichai, was born on June the 10th, 1972. He's from Madurai, which today goes by the name Chennai, a city in India's south. His mother Lakshmi worked as a stenographer. His father Rigunatha was an electrical engineer. He has a younger brother. The family lived in a two-room apartment, and the two brothers had to sleep in the living room together. Even though the family didn't have a lot of money, Pichai's father made sure that his sons got a good education. Pichai graduated from the Indian Institute of Technology in Karakpur with a degree in metallurgical engineering. He was then offered a scholarship from Stanford University in California, so he moved to the United States. By the way, to pay for his son's flight ticket to the US, Pichai's father had to spend a year's worth of income. That was most of the family's savings. Pichai finished his master degree in material science and engineering and also completed an MBA at the Wharton School of Business Pennsylvania in 2002. After working as a product manager at Applied Materials, Pichai joined Google in 2004. By the way, at first Pichai wasn't a big fan of Google. In fact, a friend of his wanted to apply for a job at Google and Pichai tried to talk him out of it. But Pichai later said he realized that Google wasn't that bad after all and that they provided a great space for young and ambitious people. Pichai oversaw several now very successful Google software products. He was the one suggesting Google should create their own web browser. Today, Google Chrome is the most popular browser worldwide, with a market share of nearly 70%. Pichai is also largely responsible for Google Drive, Gmail, Google Maps and Android. So pretty much everything we can think of when it comes to Google products. In 2015, Sundar Pichai was appointed CEO of Google. Co-founder and former CEO Larry Page became CEO of Alphabet, Google's new umbrella company that was created in the same year. In 2019, Larry Page stepped down as Alphabet CEO and Sundar Pichai was appointed the new CEO. By the way, a couple of other tech companies were interested in hiring Pichai. For example, there were rumors saying Pichai could be Twitter's next CEO and apparently Microsoft had the same idea in 2014. But Google found a way to keep Pichai. Sundar Pichai's private life is exactly that – private there's not too much known about Pichai outside of Google and he doesn't give too many interviews. He's married to Anjali Pichai, a chemical engineer. The two met at the Indian Institute of Technology in Karakpur and got engaged just before Sunda had to fly to the US to go to Stanford. Anjali stayed in India and followed him later. They have two children. Okay, so how much of this did you already know? Let's see if you know the following three facts. Sundar Pichai is a sports guy. In his spare time, Pichai follows cricket whenever he can. He's especially interested in the IPL, the Indian Premier League. Back in school, Pichai played cricket himself. And he was pretty good at it. Eventually, he even made it to team captain. At least, that's what he says. Apart from cricket, he likes watching soccer and supports FC Barcelona. He has an impressive memory. Rumor has it, Pichai memorizes every telephone number he's ever dialed. That's probably not true. At least, not anymore. As Google CEO, he must dial thousands of numbers each year. But people claim that as a child and teenager, he had a perfect memory for phone numbers. Pichai is extremely likable. 
to make it to the top of the corporate world, you have to be tougher than anyone else. You have to dominate others and be fierce, right? That pretty much sums it up. Well, maybe not. Sundar Pichai is living proof that nice people can be great leaders. Google's employees describe him as very collaborative, down-to-earth, thoughtful and kind. He always listens to employees' concerns and is a great team player. Sundar Pichai is not the type of tech titan who dropped out of college, came up with a crazy idea and started his own business in a garage. But his story shows that, with hard work and passion, it's not impossible to make it to the top of the tech world. What do you think of Sundar Pichai? Let us know below in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe to get all our latest videos. See you next time. Bye bye.